Well, he's running out of hope and looking for change. Former President Barack Obama sounding the alarm on how his former vice president could lose the 2024 election. Obama reportedly having a secret lunch meeting with Joe Biden, where he urged the current president to get more aggressive against Donald Trump. Obama also encouraging Biden to hire some of his former political advisors. President Biden seems to be taking Obama's advice to heart in a way. The president has since held two anti-MAGA events, but... Things didn't go exactly as planned in the one today in South Carolina. Jessica, you brought that up earlier um, in terms of what was happening at the Joe Biden event. Um, this is about Gaza. But when it comes to the Obama team, when they get going, yeah. they don't stop. So the Biden team has to now deal with that as well. Yeah, but I do think that the reports are accurate, that it is welcome. This happened before 2020 as well, right? Yep. He said, you know what? I'm coming off the bench. Where do you want me to go? Remember the last night they were all in Philadelphia together, which ended up being a pivotal state for this. And the Obama team is making specific recommendations, like getting Jen O'Malley Dillon, who was the campaign manager in 2020, mm -hmm. out of the White House and on the campaign trail or creating a dual role, which wouldn't um, have been done in the past before. Um, I always say this, Democrats run better when we're scared. That should be the position, how we're thinking about this. Um, and Barack Obama is a winner and his team is full of winners. And there's always been this fissure between Biden world and Obama world. And hopefully that well, will. Well, except for Jesse, Obama did lose. And if you think about 2016, mm -hmm. Um, Trump and Obama, apparently Obama's always said, I wish I would have been on the ticket because I would have beat President Trump. Yeah, well, I think it's a hostile takeover okay. because there is no Biden campaign. That's it doesn't exist. There's barely any staff. He doesn't go anywhere. He doesn't go anywhere, Jessica. Really? Oh. And I think the Obamas are flabbergasted that Joe keeps saying, we got this. When he clearly doesn't have this, the guy got so lucky. He only won last time because of a once in a hundred year pandemic. And then big intel election interfered. That's the only way he got into the White House. So I heard Michelle Obama do an hour long podcast yesterday. Mm. And she's talking about Gaza. She's talking about the border. She's talking about what keeps her up at night. And... This may be even her saying, listen, I'm option two if the convention rolls oh, around no. and Joe hits his head again. <laughs> I'm not saying it's going to happen, but she's putting herself out there, as they say. Um, one thing about President Obama is that he can, if he sounds the alarm now, it's, he can say, I try to warn them if mm -hmm. it doesn't work out yeah. for Biden or if Biden wins, he can say, thank goodness I stepped in. I wonder what he thinks that Joe is doing wrong. I mean, is he is he basically realizing, like everybody else, that you can't campaign alone on demonizing half the population? You know, what, a beautiful thing happened on X uh, this weekend. After Biden's demonic speech, a phrase trended for almost, I don't know, 60 hours. Hashtag dementia Hitler. Sounds horrible, right? It's cruel. I agree. Democrats, you created that. You know, you didn't think the Hitler door would swing both ways, but now it does. The same people that you demonized for years have learned from the masters, and that's you. So now I think Obama is saying, all right, you've gone too far. When all of this stuff, this January 6th stuff, is now entering the realm of mockery, right? No one but teary-eyed performance artists at MSNBC are taking it seriously. It's now considered a joke among most people because it was overplayed. Maybe he's saying, you know what? Maybe you should dig out some policies or some ideas because right now, this is just pathetic. Do you think Obama will hit the campaign trail in order to help Biden? I think Obama will, will hit the campaign trail because he hates Donald Trump. Mm. And he hates the thought of Donald Trump winning. It's not so much about his friendship with Joe and their friendship bracelet and all that. <laughs> but I happen to think that part of it is a hostile takeover, Jesse. I happen to think that when Obama comes out and he says, we have to restructure the campaign to make, the, uh, uh, to make Joe more agile, I mean, that's not a word that you use when you talk about <laughs> Joe Biden and more aggressive. I mean, uh, but Obama says the campaign needs to be empowered so that 
decisions don't have to be made in the White House. What does that tell you? Mm -hmm. All along, from the get-go, we've been trying to figure out who is pulling him back and saying, oh, he really didn't mean to say that. And now we kind of see Obama in that kind of light, saying, well, they shouldn't have to decide these things. And by the way, I think David Plouffe from 2008, who ran my campaign, I think he'd be great for Obama. And, the, you know, the trajectory of Joe Biden is going like this. He's got the lowest poll numbers of any president president in, in, in modern history at this point in time. And Obama is not going to let that happen. I'm telling you, he's not going to let that happen. Um, and so then the question is, do they do something at the convention? Because Obama does not want Donald Trump to win again. And uh, although Biden, you know, he can do a great State of the Union address in January, he can say the world is great. The world isn't great. And James Clyburn coming out and saying, uh, you know, we can't get through the MAGA wall. No, you can't get through to people who already know about the economy. They already know about inflation. Those are the people you can't change. I guarantee that President Obama would have fired his Secretary of Defense for this uh, I agree. Uh, a wall situation. All right, ahead, Eco Warriors are declaring war on gas guzzlers by slashing the tires of electric cars. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.